Hey everyone, this is Courtney again at Play, coming at you with some content about voice cloning. So we get a lot of requests about voice cloning, the capabilities, the requirements, the outputs. So I wanted to touch on it a little bit today and take you through a high level tutorial of how to do that yourself. So I would highly, highly recommend you try out the voice cloning on our website. We have a free version there where you can generate an instant clone. You'll notice if you've utilized other services that our clones are highly advanced and professional, especially for those instant clones that usually are a little bit less developed or advanced. We also offer high fidelity clones, which I'll go over the differences of those but wanted to put in that plug that you can try this out for yourself so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, voice cloning, I would also recommend as a way to get highly customized emotional output too. So definitely our, our AI is capable and advanced enough to provide variation in sentence structure, speed, um, we have custom generation, custom pronunciation generation, right, where you tell the AI how to pronounce a certain sentence. Um, but a question we get a lot is about um, how can I make a character in the voice library sound angry or sound happy or sound frustrated? And while those are potentially in development with our team now, there isn't a way to dictate that statically within the platform but a way that people are doing it are with voice clones so i'll show you that as well um, you could consider cloning your own voice and having a happy sad angry uh, frustrated version of your own voice and then choosing the voice clone that corresponds with the text that needs that emotional output but start off basic basic voice cloning you come to our platform here. Again, you can use the free version. I'd recommend starting there, um, increasing your usage as you get more comfortable with it. But you'll come right over here to create voice clone. Now I have some clone voices of myself that I will show you, but just to go through the process of what you'd be doing, come right here to create voice clone. Then you choose either instant or high fidelity. Now. The instant is what you can use on the free plan. The high fidelity is um, locked on our, our more advanced plans. The difference between these, again, is looking at the amount of source audio that's required to generate that clone and consider it essentially how, how much the clone is going to adhere to that source audio versus using AI prompting to fill in the gaps, right? So. For most use cases, an instant clone, because ours are so professional sounding, um, an instant clone is great. It only needs 30 seconds of source audio. We provide a little script that you can use to speak into the platform or have someone who's agreed to uh, use their voice speak into the platform. And then um, it'll generate that clone. Keep in mind that the quality and essentially the emotion behind the voice of the source audio will translate into that type of clone. Okay, so if you have any background noise in the instant clone or the high fidelity clone, that will translate into the audio output when you use that clone. So make sure that you're um, in a quiet area, you're speaking clearly into the microphone. It doesn't need to be a professional microphone, but uh, keep that in mind. And then really the only difference in our high fidelity clones is the amount of source audio, right? So this one requires at least 20 minutes or more of clean source audio. Now we do have the uh, denoiser feature that we've launched that if the audio sample you have isn't super clean or has some background noise, you can clean it there. But um, this is an audio upload. And again, it will adhere a little bit more to the source audio in that text um, or the audio output than the instant. But for a lot of use cases, the instant is great. Um, the high fidelity I've seen used more so for really advanced um, influencers, podcasters, people that are monetizing on one specific voice and, and really nothing else. So 
for our purposes, I'll, I'll show you this instant clone. So what we would do is, oh, I've got all my tests there. <laughs> we could do a test voice, choose the gender identity it, it should adhere to. And then again, you have the option to upload a sample or record your voice. So if you choose to record the voice, notice that it, it immediately starts recording. You can read off this little script that it gives you, which is trying to help you know what to say and trying to get variation of all sorts of sentences and structures and questions and um, so that the clone can adhere and not have to fill in so many gaps. But also keep in mind here that however natural and normal the audio input sounds as you're recording, the more natural and normal it'll sound once you um, finish, finish that generation. So you would just um, finish doing that and put that you have the rights and create that clone. I've already got a bunch of myself in there, so I don't need one more, but um, that's how you do the, the voice clone. And then to access that in the voice library here, that's where I'm at. Come right here to your voices and it'll pull up all of those cloned voices. So I think ours was a test. Yeah, we've got a couple of tests right here. So that's where you would access them. And then whether you're in the studio or play note, you can just choose that voice as the output. So instead of one of our AI voices in the library, um, sorry, I've already got my search pulled up here. <laughs> so you can choose from any voice in the library or you would come to clone and search for your clone voice there and then input the text that you wanted to generate that audio for. Okay. So super easy, simple process. That's all you need to do for the voice clones. Let me touch really quick on how to generate specific emotions with a voice clone. So what a lot of our clients are doing is they have a certain character maybe or a persona and it needs to have really specific emotional output. Some text needs to be written in a sad tone. Some needs to be very upbeat or it needs to um, seem like they're lost, right? So there's a lot of different emotional states that we can generate a voice clone to embody that so that the text um, reflects that, right? Because remember that a voice clone is adhering really strictly to not only just how some how things are pronounced, the intonation, the cadence of a voice, but also how they sound, right? If they sound sad or they sound monotone in the clone, that will be regurgitated as well. So I have an example here to show you. I'm going to come into my files. Okay, so I have cloned myself in a few different emotional tones. I have one that is more neutral, one that's urgent, one that's positive. Um, I've got an angry one, but I skipped over that one to save you guys. So I have generated a couple different pieces of text in our studio, and I wanted to show you how, not only how well it adheres to my voice, but it adheres to exactly how I was pronouncing, how I was um, intonating things in the source audio. Okay, so this is a Courtney neutral. I'll show you this generation here. Take a deep breath in through your nose, hold it for a few seconds and breathe out. Feel the air exiting your body and taking with it the worry of the day. Okay, very neutral, right? Um, I'll show you this urgent text and then we'll compare it with the neutral voice as well, okay? So again, this is my voice, but the source recording, I spoke in a much more urgent tone so that it regurgitated that on um, when I'm doing the output here, okay? Did the kids make it home from school? The storm warning is sounding and I can't find them anywhere. Okay, so the emotion is more urgent, intense. I can take that same text and have my clone read it out in the neutral voice and it will sound very different. Did the kids make it home from school? The storm warning is sounding and I can't find them anywhere. Okay, so you see the difference. The text is the same. It'll be, it'll produce an audio, it'll read it out, but if you're wanting to control more of the, the emotion behind it, you need to dictate that, or you can dictate that specifically in the voice clone. 
Okay, I'll show you this last one and then wrap it up for this video, but this is my Courtney positive. There isn't anyone else in the world I'd rather spend my weekend with than you. <laughs> okay, so a lot of uses for this. You can, again, customize that emotion, make sure that you're getting exactly what you want in the type of content you're generating. This is great for podcasts, audiobooks, social media, internal content, um, just everything under the sun. So play around with it, see what you think. Make sure to let us know on our website um, if you run into any roadblocks or issues. Our support email is on there. But thanks so much for listening.